Hello everybody, this is Leslie and welcome to my first craft room tour. This is my happy place, this is my scrappy place, this is where I can completely just let go and be myself and be creative as I want to be. Let's get started. So this is my door, this is where you go in and if I just pan around a little bit here you'll see right by my door I have this little bit next to the built-in wardrobes and I've just got a little thing from Ikea up there, some decoration and this little shelf with all my bunnies. I have a thing for bunnies and I've got lots more space for bunnies down there. So if, if I pan around this way you'll have a quick look of my room. I'm going to go into much detail later. So there is where I scrap, that's my scrappy bit. And here's where I store my albums and some embellishments and this is my sewing bit. If I pan over this side, this is the door, and here's my papers. So these are just my plain cardstock papers. Um, these are 12 by 12 papers, um, and these are A4 or letter sized papers. And um, at the top here, just some decoration. And that uh, from uh, the Flourish crate paper collection that is probably my favorite paper ever so I had to frame it and these are from a simple stories faith collection and um, they are beautiful and I've got some over there as well that I just need to hang up on the wall so on the bottom here I've got my printers so this is my A3 printer and it's also a photo printer and that's my Canon Pixma printer. It's just normal letter size printer but it can also do photos very well. And this is my brother, Scan and Cut. I don't use it as much as I use my silhouette but I do like to, to experiment with it. So I'm still in the experimental phase of it. These two little um, shelving units um, house some of my photos. So I've got them all organized. Um, these are photos of my eldest son and my eldest son. These are family photos. Oh, <laughs> this isn't supposed to be in here. So these are family photos and then these are photos of my daughter and my youngest daughter. These are some random embellishments I have that aren't collection related that um, I've just put in here. Let me just open one for you. You'll see some Project Live and some cutter parts and um, yeah, some Ikea tags and they're not collection related really. So I can just go in there and um, and the rest of all of, of them are all like that. This little bit, I still have to organize that little tray, but that's a photo of my father-in-law and my mother-in-law on their wedding day. Look how sweet. <laughs> Those are, these are where I keep all my um, buttons and I have them all in their color, um, all separated by color. This is just a little decoration I have up here. So these are layouts I still have to put away and file. Um, they are either, um, I haven't um, had made a year file for them or they uh, I don't know the dates of them so I still need to go through the dates and get them organized so this is how I store my washi these containers come from Muji um, it's a Japanese store here in Dubai and I'll take one out for you they are quite heavy And um, the top part slides open like this, and you can just see them. All my beautiful washies. <laughs> so I've got one for random colors like this. Then I've got for gold and black and silver and brown. And then this is the orange and the red. This is the yellow and the green. And the blues, I've got lots of blues and pinks and purples. So I've got my washi stored like that. And if I like, if I um, have to use one of them in a color or um, a specific color, sorry, of them, then I just pull out my 
the red or the blue or the yellow container and I've got my washi sorted. So in the bottom here, if you come open, this is just a, one of the IKEA units. I've just got some um, pre-made little albums there that I need to get stuck into still. Um, these are little things that you know you buy at a at a um, a dollar store or a <laughs> cheap store. So um, this, however, this one is not a cheap store, and this comes from Scrapbook.com, and it's a paper house um, flip book. And um, I've done a one of these for my daughter's for one of my daughter's births. So I'll have that in a flip through video for you sometime. <laughs> And in this is just some extra paper. Now these are papers I've brought from somebody's stash. And um, they're not necessarily papers that I would have bought myself. But they are, um, they're okay. You know, they, I've organized them all in sort of kits. So, um, uh, yeah, so um, you'll see. They're all in their little plastic baggies lots of that in the blue container at the bottom here i have some stickers and um i have loads of stickers i mean all of these containers contain basically just stickers i had a card business for a while where i made pop-up cards and i would use these stickers to embellish my pop-up cards so this container obviously contains just owls and birds <laughs> and butterflies so there is a container at the bottom that's just got the birds in and then the butterflies are at the top here and there's some random embellishment swirls and flourishes as well and then some owls are in there here is my I think this is my Christmas one um, let me just open it for you like this yes this is my christmas box i don't have specific christmas collections these are also just mainly from stashes i've bought off people so yeah and again lots of christmas stickers for those christmas pop-up cards that i made just get this back in here in the next box this is called future projects these are projects that i started and i obviously haven't finished them yet so I've put them all in um, little baggies. Um, this is a summer album that I wanted to finish. This is a Winnie the Pooh album for one of my kids' birthdays. This is a birthday album with some of the birthday decorations that I had to keep for the album. And these are just some books I saved that my kids worked through that I use these little bits to cut out and I use them as embellishments on my pages for the themed albums for their birthdays or something like that okay so this says miscellaneous oh, music um, professions and travel however I think I changed what's inside this box yes okay so there's again loads of stickers farm animals animals um <laughs> These are obviously professions, um, animals, <laughs> and I think this is all to do with the beach, or I'm not sure. Let's see, yeah. So, yes, so I have a lot of embellishments that I need to get through. Um, I'm not sure if I will get through them in my lifetime. I'm going to have to do a de-stash at some stage. If I move on to the side over here, I keep my cards in these drawers and these are just, these are all, um, uh, what do you call them, just they're blank empty cards, blank empty cards with envelopes with them. And then you get into some of the colored cards. So these are all just the cards. And I think the envelopes are at the bottom. And yeah, here's some of the envelopes. So yes, I have a lot of cards <laughs> that I need to fill up or use or donate or get rid of or somehow. So this is a very random draw. These are just envelopes. And I sometimes make... Uh, my own books with 
envelopes, um, an envelope uh, scrapbook. And these are very nice size. I'm not sure what size. I think they're, this looks like an eight by six inch, but yeah. So they are very nice to work with. Oh, here we go. This is one as an example I made. So these are just envelopes in here. At the bottom, some more envelopes and some little, some of these little chipboard books that I bought from a store here. It's called Daiso, also a Japanese store. And I'm sure you guys, some of you know, I've seen some of you mention Daiso. So this is just ribbon and um, some twine. And um, yeah, so these are just my ribbons and they're all organized by color. So these are too big to fit into these <laughs> ribbon boxes. If you come into this box, now I know this isn't what it says on the side of the box. This says animals, but I know ooh, it's heavy. There must be something in this side. It. So I bought this paper and it is a laser <laughs> printer. And I don't have a laser printer. Okay, so these are very random papers, um, pattern papers. They are all letter sized and I have loads of them and I keep them in these containers to keep the dust off them. They all have funky patterns on them and I used to use them a lot when I made my um, pop-up cards um, as little embellishments and um, on the sides of, and of, on the flaps that fold over. So this box contains all my page protectors. You can see them popping up there. It's very heavy. I'm not going to pull it out. <laughs> and here you go. This is my uh, letter sized or A4 cardstock. If I move around to this side, let's first go into this cupboard. This is my first cupboard. And I have all my collections in this cupboard. And there you see from the top to the bottom <laughs> so um, <laughs> at the bottom there's some studio calico kits then you have all the Bella Boulevard and then this is all um, Kaiser craft that I have going up and some um, uh, one canoe two as well up there these are just some tone on tone papers that I have simple stories um, photo play die cuts with the view and at the bottom I think I've got some echo park yes they're all echo park down there these are memorabilia boxes so that's all birthday cards that I need to keep birthday cards um, uh, certificates of the kids extra photos little movie tabs and so forth so they all go in that box this is my camera i used to do photography when i still lived in south africa so that was my backpack for doing weddings and, and things and up here is just some vinyl that i used to cover files with and there you go that's this cupboard in the next cupboard i have it's a bit of a mess <laughs> This is my sort of sewing organizational children's crafts cupboard. So at the top there, you'll just see some craft items. And on this, on the right hand side, it's where my kids craft all And This thing didn't fit in there, so <laughs> it has to go skew. So those are all the kids crafts. This box at the bottom, that is Emma's, um, scrapbook box and she does some scrapbooking with me sometimes <laughs> and those are just those postbound albums that they're still in the plastic I mean I haven't even taken them out I don't know what to do with them I hate them I've always hated them I don't know why I kept on buying them but anyway I kept on buying them those are my fine art supplies um, I do do oil painting and watercolors acrylics I do do portraits for people so those are where I kept my that's where I keep my all my fine arts and my things. And you'll see some oil colors at the back there. So this is where I keep my uh, crocheting bit. Um, <laughs> I, I'm sort of a jack of all, all crafts, really. Um, so this is what I did 
years and years and years ago and I still have to finish the blankets I'm making for Emma so um, I taught myself I just went onto YouTube and sort of looked how they do it and then that's it for this cupboard this next cupboard this next cupboard is just it's stacked from the ceiling to the ground with gift boxes and that's basically what's in this cupboard those boxes are empty I am not using those boxes at the moment I have consolidate consolidated <laughs> all of my embellishments so that they fit in better with everything else that needs to um, fit into my scrap room so those are just some cardboard that I use for my albums um, when I have to make an album. This is my Razcog and it's basically just a mixed media station. It's got my Sharpies, some Copics, pencils that Emma can use, some of my acrylics, gelatos, um, some more acrylics. I've got watercolors in there and I've got my gesso and all my little crafty bits, paint brushes and um, some texture paste. All my little crafty mixed media bits are in there. Our oh, pan downs. Oh, there's my little craft mat. My ink tens pencils are at the back there. And there you go. Okay, so before we get to the to the scrappy bit, let me go on to this bit. So this is just um a, an old Calyx unit that I put on the edge of two um, IKEA desks. And at the bottom, you'll see there are boxes with more embellishments in. So let's see what's in this box. Um, this does not say what's in the box. This is quite a heavy box. I think these are my punches. So I, oh no, they are my six by six paper pads. So I don't have a lot of six by six paper pads. These are all from the dollar store or they are from Daiso. And, um, uh, this was from Virgin Mega Stores. I think I just like the owls, the owl bit. And then these are my collection bits. Oh, this is, yeah, just some random six by six papers that I keep in there. And the thing is that I try to keep most of my papers away um, from the window because they get faded so quickly I have two albums that I put close to our to my window for about a month and oh, it you know they faded it, it it looks terrible so what I have in this box oh this box is heavy my punches and I don't have a lot of punches I don't so what I basically use mostly is I've got some circle punches and I have some star punches and butterfly punches. And those are the punches that I use the most. These ones, not so much. <laughs> this is from a, sh a shop called Chibo and um, it's a German shop and they are lovely. They've got lots of craft supplies. Um, you'll see there, a lot of my punches are from there and I've got some... They're all layered in here. I'm not going to take them all out because it's heavy. So what I try to do with my albums, um, I have been trying to keep them um, in sort of design team albums, sort of my page, my paper issues, um, designs I put in one album and then my Just Nick designs I put in another album but it, it got so much that I decided that I better do something so what I used to do with the kids I had a baby album for each and then sort of an album for each child and then that also didn't work <laughs> so I am now going chronologically <laughs> so whether it's a layout that's made five years ago, ten years ago, or two days ago, it goes in chronologically. Some of them I do redo. Some of my um, uh, pages I do redo. Um, but, yeah. So, this is exactly what it says. It's just a box of brads. Also, I bought it off a lady's stash. It's literally the entire box is brads and eyelets. <laughs> This is rhinestones and sequins. The entire box, rhinestones and sequins. <laughs> so, 
These are some um, postbound albums as well and some kits. Those are some little paper kits that I bought from a little shop in South Africa. And oh, these are just, I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for, but they're nice. I might give them to Emma and then she can just experiment with them a little bit more. So this is my sewing station. And as you can see, I've got lots of light coming in. And um, <laughs> I've got those little... Uh, the curtains up um, constantly because everything fades with this light in Dubai even though we've got tinted double glazed windows everything fades okay so this is my sewing station those are some projects I've got going in there and when my husband has to work from home he comes and sits here so then he plugs in his laptop and he does all of his work there here's just a little bowl with little bits and bobs in and these little clips that you can clip the material together instead of using pins. This is my little square for cutting quilting squares. A little basket with bits in. Also my silhouette pins are in there. <laughs> so this is just a little sewing container with my threads. Some more threads and my pins and my needles at the bottom there. Another container with some random sewing bits. And now we come to the scrapbooking bit. So up here I've got some decoration. These are serviettes that I chose to frame and they are from a designer or a design company, I'm not sure, <laughs> in Finland called Marimeko. And when I went to Finland, I fell in love with all of their designs. So whenever I get hold of something to do with Marimeko, I get it. I've got a shower curtain <laughs> that I bought that's hanging over one of my couches. It doesn't look like a shower curtain. It looks like a throw. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how much I love Marimeko. So these are some 12 by 12 um, pull-out plastic drawers that I found at a hardware shop here. And they hold my most current collections and the ones that I'm most likely to use. So at the top here, I've got my... Um, Studio Calico and Freckled Fawn and Pink Fresh collections because I don't have a lot of them. So they all share a little, they all share a drawer. Sorry, that is just Freckled Fawn and Pink Fresh. This is Studio Calico. So what I did is I basically just went and bought some of their grab bags and um warehouse boxes and this is what I got. I'm not subscribed to any of the kits and I don't regularly buy from Studio Calico. It was basically just a sort of a let's see what I can get type <laughs> type thing. This is my Glitter Girl and I've been saving this collection. I have the whole collection. Yay! I've been saving it for a project I want to use for my daughter Emma, my six-year-old. So um, yeah, this is staying right here. Nobody's touching it. <laughs> and, I'm going to be using, look at that beautiful little red oh, enamel badge that I found. It's going to go perfect with this collection. And I'm not touching this until the right time. So, yeah, you know. So here, some uh, Project Life cards, some cutter parts, um, and some little cards I made myself from pattern paper that I'm not likely to use anytime soon. So this is all cutter parts. Now we're starting with the letter stickers and um, some alpha stickers and some word phrases and, and so on. Again, I used to make cards, so I have a lot of these, a lot of them. Okay, so these are my numbers as well. These are just some random alphas that I need to use up. They are mostly wood, wood veneer and some doodle bug alphas and my alpha stamps that I don't use. <laughs> I should start using them. This is my thickers and my other alphas that I use regularly. And some other thickers as well, some word phrases and there's some Bella Boulevard at the bottom here. So these are all thickers. I don't have a lot of thickers. I really don't. So These are some other um, uh, alpha stickers, some random alpha stickers. Also some dollar store type Alpha stickers that I've got, but they're lovely. I mean, they suit everything. These I cut out on my silhouette. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to be using those. <laughs> and these are some rub ons and some really old alpha stickers. I mean, who uses this? How am I going to use this? This this is like at least 15 years old. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to get myself organized. If we go up to the top here, these are some O. Oh, some dear Lizzie. My dear Lizzie collections are all in here. Or that's what I had. It's what I have left. This is my Heart of Home collection from Jane Hadfield. My massive. I've said in a previous video I've got two massive collections, and this is one of them. And I've made the majority of my family album finished, and I have made a book from scratch with this and I still have this much left so I'm not sure <laughs> yeah I'm going to have to do something else getting that all sorted out okay so this is my brand new wild heart collection I got it last week and I got it from paper issues so I'm very happy about that that's flourish the bottom there so crate paper is in one and then pebbles is in another this is doodle bug so you can see all my little doodle bug things. And hello, it must be somewhere. There's hello. And this is an older doodle bug collection. This is Simple Stories. And the, this is the new I am. And I just keep all of the things together so that I can know, you know, um, I scrap by collection. So I, I struggle to mix things because my brain doesn't like mixing collections. Okay, so this is this is overflow from the bottom drawer. This is uh, Oh My Heart. But at the bottom I've got, this is actually my Bella Boulevard um, drawer. I've got all the new collections from Bella Boulevard and my Oh My Heart overflow because I've got loads of pink paisley. Take Me Away is in here. Turn the Page is in another container there. You see, I mean, I haven't even used half of this. It's still in the packaging. Look, it's all that's still in the packaging. And this is my, oh, my heart drawer. All of this. And pick me up. There you go. All my pick me up. Oh, my heart. And at the bottom, I have random collections. So this is some Cartabella. This is some My Mind's Eye. Some and my mind's eye as well, I think. And Webster's pages at the bottom. So they all go in here. In here, in this little cubby here, I just have all my diaries. Well, they are not all of them. These are just some of the ones I've managed to bring to, over to Dubai from South Africa. But I've been keeping diaries since I was about 12 years old. So this is just a drop in the ocean. <laughs> this is this hideous hideous brown thing <laughs> housing some of my wedding photos I still don't have a wedding album I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with my wedding album I'm not sure if I want to scrap it or if I just want to do traditional or if I want to do a photo book I am not sure what I want to do but this is a box for my cry Ugh. my what's this thing called this thing my cuddle bug <laughs> My dies and my embossing folders all go in here. These are just some tools that I have. My Canon selfie and just, you'll see, there's some extra tools I have going on there. Some extra blades, glues and things like that. Same with this no, I don't think so. Let's see what's in here. I think these are just rhinestones. Yes, a box full of rhinestones. And this is a box full of extra glues and tools and things. So everything is nice. Oof, look how dusty that is already. So yeah, so everything is in boxes inside cupboards because of, I mean, you can imagine we live in a desert, so <laughs> it's full of dust all the time. Okay, so let's go to the top of my big calyx unit over here. So this is my little fox. These are some things my son made me. A mug and a little frame. It's a family photo. My fake plants <laughs> and my Felicity Jane 
kids organization. I love Felicity Jane, so it has pride of place. These are some little 8x8 albums I still have to get going. This is one of the paper house photo books I showed you earlier. I'll do a flip through of that. I used Oh My Heart with this. My travel journals that I use for organization. My newest layouts that I've made that I still need to file away. And then this is my book that I told you about where I used my Jane Hadfield Heart of Home collection, this entire thing, and I still don't have, still haven't finished it. This book I've made um, for me and my husband, it's just little pictures of us. I still have to finish it, but I'm using the Flourish collection. Here are some little books I've made. This is my Christmas album I made earlier. This is a, um, my daughter Emma's first birthday, and this is a little album of her first week of life. <laughs> These are my uh, American craft sticker books from all the different designers and this is just basically te um, technical. So this is page protectors, my card stock and where I file random things. Okay, so here are some tools I use regularly. My um, uh, scoreboard, some tracing paper that's vellum, so I use this as be, you know sometimes behind my photos, and my big me we are memory keepers punch boards and things. Here I keep my cutting tools, and at the bottom my stamping pad, my Tim Holtz stamping pad. Here in this. I keep, I need to do something with these. These are little chipboard albums that I need to do something with. My wood veneer and my cuttlebug plates. And in this little bit, some loveliness. I've got all my Heidi Swap that I have at the moment, color shine, all my Heidi Swap color shine that I have, and some of my Nouveau drops. In the bottom box, I've got these are stamps. Um, I'm not going to pull this out, um, <laughs> it's quite heavy, only stamps and they're all individually packaged or um, put in there. This I think is just embellishments as well. These are baby to do with baby um, themes, so baby girl and baby boy. Embellishments for cards, yep, I know, I don't know how I'm going to use these unless I start making cards again. These are some stamps and inks, and a lot of my Alta New inks are in here with their dies and their stamps as well. Here is a box full of flowers. Yes, flowers. This is a card I made using the Espeso. What do you, what do you call this technique? Do you. So, flowers, a whole box full of little flowers, and there are a lot of Prima flowers in there as well, so I have loads of that. This is my twine, my baker's twine and my embroidery thread that I use um, on my layouts, some page protectors that I can just pull out when I finish a layout. Those are some embellishments to do with festivities, birthdays, Easter, all things like that. At the bottom here, you'll see old um, papers and file dividers. That's what it says. <laughs> There's really old papers in here and file dividers. I sometimes use the old paper, the, the back. If, if the older paper has a white back, I use it as a background for my layouts and those are school embellishments so everything to do with school I chuck in that box and those go for my school my kids school layouts if I stand up and I come a little back that is the side of my desk it's got my selfie on it my planner and a very rickety little solution here to a desk but it's got wipes, tissue paper, doilies, and my um, punches that I use most often. And this is just all IKEA storage people, except those are from Muji, the same that 
place I bought my washi storage solution from. So, if I go over here, this is a mess. <laughs> but it's all randomness that I have to use up. So, I keep this on my desk at all times. And I have to use this. This is overflow photos. And if I print it doubles or if I print it the wrong size or something. So, they go in there. And sometimes I scrap two photos um, on two different layouts but yeah so this is also just random little tools in there and some <laughs> embellishments so the stuff I keep on my desk is stuff that I either use all the time or that I am keeping in front of me so that I have to use it to use it up so this is just some label stickers little notepad these I use a lot my stays on ink and my ink block and those are little veneers or chipboard veneers that I really have to start using. Little embellishments over there, extra tools. The bottom here, I've got um, just this can pull out very easily for me when I'm using it. So this is just my basic my pins, my YouTube blog that I keep over here of all my videos so that I know exactly what I did when if I need to go check something. And some extra glue, fine line bottle, and that goes in there. This is my main organizational kit on my desk. This is also from Ikea. So at the back I've got papers again that I keep in sight that I have to use. And um, some specialty papers in there as well. This is some stickers that I keep on my desk at hand. You know I love my little embellishments and my little stickers that I pop up everywhere, my one hole punch, T square ruler and these are just some adhesives and some enamel stickers I have, enamel dots I have in here, oh and my paper issues cards I get every time I get, get an order. Glue, tools, scissors, easy. <laughs> my tablet for when I want to watch something and these I got the other day I'm really excited about them I still haven't opened them but I'm going to be using them soon in a series that I am doing for the stress oxides and this is my embellishment drawers very messy very random also just things that I have to use and get out of the way this is my little sticker drawer and um, I've got loads of stickers. I mean, these are as random as you can get. <laughs> so I have to use these and get them out of the way. Um, as you can see, things that I can have on reach quickly and easily. And those are as well some embellishments, some wood veneer, some little cutter parts that I've printed and cut out, and some randomness. <laughs> Some little bobbles, some rickrack, and this is my little light and my laptop. At the bottom here, I keep my cutting mat and my cuddle bug, and that's it. This is my craft room, people. I made those little bunting banners. I know you probably can't see them, the light, it's too bad. But anyway, this is my space. My whole house can be falling apart and can be terrible. But my craft room has to be perfect all the time. <laughs> perfect for me, in any case. Might not be for most people. But it's perfect for me, in any case. So, I know this is a long video. Thank you so much for sticking around, if you did stuck ar stick around, for the whole video. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please let me know. And I will see if I can answer them. If you've got any other questions about any other storage solutions I used. Please also drop me a comment and I will see if I can help you and get get to you as soon as I can. Bye. Okay, bye everybody. Bye.